My name is Dr. Scott Folk, and I'm the Director of Adult Infectious Diseases at Mosaic in St. Joseph. The coronaviruses are a family of viruses that over the years have caused a variety of infections. Earlier coronaviruses uh, caused nothing more than the common cold. But more recently, we've come to learn about other coronaviruses that at attack the lungs and cause pneumonia. For instance, back in 2002, 2003, there was a coronavirus that came along known as Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. Uh, the average mortality rate with that was about 10%. And then a, a decade went by, and another coronavirus came along that also attacked the lungs, and that virus was called uh, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. The average mortality rate with MERS was about 36%. Then in December of 2019, um, yet another coronavirus came along that attacks the lungs, what we've come to know as COVID-19 disease. And COVID-19 disease is caused by a virus that's similar to SARS. Um, and COVID-19 now is uh, caused by a virus known as SARS-CoV-2. The genetic makeup of SARS-CoV-2, the cause of COVID-19, is very similar to that of the virus that caused SARS. One of the things that separated SARS from COVID-19 infection is that with the case of SARS, patients were not highly infectious until seven to 10 days after the onset of symptoms, meaning that once patients became symptomatic with SARS, they were immediately placed in isolation. And only after that did their amount of virus excretion peak. On the other hand, with COVID-19, patients are many times highly infectious at the onset of symptoms before they've been placed in isolation. So that's one of the things that makes COVID-19 disease such a challenge in trying to control and contain the infection. So let's talk about masks for a few minutes. Up until recently, the CDC has recommended the use of masks only for persons who are positive for COVID-19 and have symptoms. The CDC has not advocated for the use of masks in asymptomatic persons because they lead to a false sense of security. In other words, if I have a mask on and I'm, I don't have COVID-19 disease, but I'm wearing a mask to protect myself, and then if I come in contact with someone who does have COVID-19 and if they cough or sneeze on me, yes, my mask will protect my nose and mouth from droplets from that infected person coming on to me, but the mask will not prevent those droplets from getting into my eyes or getting onto my forehead. And then if I reach up, touch my forehead, and then touch my eyes, I can infect myself. What's changed is that on March 30th, the CDC issued a report. And in that report, they highlighted the importance of viral transmission in the days leading up to the onset of symptoms with COVID-19 infection, as well as the risk of transmission of virus in those patients who are asymptomatic. As you can see on the chart, one of the things that I'd like to mention is something known as the incubation period for COVID-19. Simply put, the incubation period is that time frame from entry of the virus into the host, that is infection, to the onset of symptoms. When a person becomes infected by SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus that causes COVID-19, it takes on average about five days for them to develop symptoms. Not all patients, however, do develop symptoms. About 80% of patients will not have symptoms or only mild symptoms. Another 15% of infected patients will have symptoms severe enough to land them in the hospital, and another 5% of patients will have symptoms that are so severe that they end up in the intensive care unit on a ventilator. What we're learning is that patients can excrete virus before they develop symptoms, and they can also excrete virus even if they have no symptoms. And so the reason that we're being asked to consider wearing a mask all the time is to prevent us, if we happen to be infected by COVID-19 unknowingly, then the mask prevents us from excreting virus and infecting other persons. It's important to note that masks should be reserved for healthcare workers caring for COVID-19 patients. When we're out in public, instead of wearing a mask, we should be thinking about wearing something like a bandana or a scarf so, or some article of clothing to cover our nose and mouth so that number one, 
if we come across an infected person and they're coughing, they don't infect us. And number two, so that if we're infected unknowingly, that we don't infect other uninfected persons. I'm Dr. Folk. We'll be sharing more information with you soon. Stay safe.